Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another music reaction. This is for a band that I've heard of a lot, um, you probably all know them, and weirdly I have never heard a song by them. I don't know why I never checked them out, I just don't, I never, I don't know, I'm just, I just, I never swayed in that direction, I never ever checked them out. I knew about them, I've known about them for years, but I've never listened to a song of theirs, so I got a recommendation to do two songs. And this is the first of the two. It's called Parallels. It's by As I Lay Dying, which you all should know. Um, I know about them, as I said, but I've never heard them. I've never heard a song. I've never even heard a riff. So this is going to be a very weird, weird experience because it's going to be an old band I'm experiencing for the first time. Almost like they're new to me. Um, so, yeah. I'm excited. I don't really know much about the band. Um, the only thing I think I know because it was newsworthy was was the singer not in prison or something I don't know the full story of that So I'm not going to go into that But I'm excited to get into this as I said I've heard about them They were raved about a lot to me, so they must be a big deal So I don't I just don't know why I never checked them out um, It's probably a, a slip of the mind. I was listening to other stuff. I was doing other stuff at the time So yeah, this song came out 11 years ago, I believe so I don't know what I was doing 11 years ago, genuinely can't remember. But, enough fucking talking. Well, let's go. As I lay down, parallels. This will be fun. Okay, so starting off, um, the guitars are very standout instantly. The intro was very cool, uh, quite a build up to what was going to happen later. Very cool um, when that's utilised properly and they just used it, utilised it properly. Very, 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 very good. Um, I will say the, ones, the one part of this, uh, the, what standed out to me a lot from it, it's almost like a mix of like old school trivium meets kill switch engage which is it's kind of got that vibe to it that's not saying that's not a bad thing that's a very fucking good thing they are two awesome bands so to be compared to them is something spectacular uh but yeah loving it so far um the change of vocals is very different because it's not going to like a clean to a scream it's going to a scream to like a rough sort of more of sort of a harsh uh singing which is very cool the drums are on point because they're keeping the beat to the song perfectly and the guitars are fucking shining uh yeah fucking awesome so far as i said the vocals are very very unique in the fact that he's gone from a scream to a harsh sing um yeah fucking awesome it does sound like it came out 11 years ago it has that uh, vibe of those kinds of songs that's also a good thing because a lot of good music came out then but yeah i'm enjoying it so far very much enjoying it so far don't know why i didn't check it out or check them out back then but who knows these things? Uh, but yeah, I am enjoying it.
it's definitely got the rhythm of a trivium song, but it's definitely got the uh, execution of a Kill Switch Engage song. 100%. It's definitely got that vibe to it, which I very much fucking enjoy. Um, he can clean sing very fucking well. He's got a very good clean voice, which is very... Um, it's not weird, but there's a lot of bands that when they can sing, uh, when they can scream and roar really good, you can eat, sometimes you're like, when you hear them sing for the first time, you, it throws you off a bit, and it takes you a while to get used to it, um, but then you get used to it and it's fucking cool. Uh, but yeah, fucking fantastic. The guitars are the star of the show for me because the guitars are standing out like a motherfucker. Um, as I said, drums are keeping the beat spectacularly, very quick, probably double bass pedal, um, the harmonics, they are, they're, they're not, they're not as audible, but there was definitely a harmonic in the background, just giving different t uh, tinges of uh, different styles, very fucking cool, and the vocals are incredible, fucking incredible. Okay, so I am just pausing there to uh, brace myself for impact with the bridge coming up, which is always my favourite part of a song anytime because it shows how dynamic a band and song can actually be because the bridge always stands out on its own because it's a different kind of style they throw into the song to then bring it back. Very fucking cool. His clean vocals, once again, fucking incredible. Um, the lyrics are very good. It's definitely got, as I said, it's definitely got that era sound to it, which is a good thing. It, it, it's just nostalgic listening to something that's that kind of style. Um, I'm enjoying it a lot. It's definitely got a very kill switch sound to it. Um, definitely a very trivium kind of rhythm, just the way it would ebb and flow, it would go from heavy to soft, just the way the trivium used to do back in the day, and kind of still do to an extent, but I think they're a lot heavier than they used to be. But yeah, fucking incredible. Fucking incredible. Now, well, it's time, it's time for the bridge, let's hope this is fucking awesome. Okay, just before we get to the last part of the song, I just want to point a couple of things out about the um, bridge slash solo, because it was more of a solo, um, nothing wrong with that at all, the solo was very fucking good, but I want to point out before the solo, the way he was singing, the way the melody was uh, running, it had a very stained feel to it, which is very cool, because Stained are like one of my favourite bands ever, so it stood out to me like a sort of form, he definitely sounded like Aaron Lewis, or had that Aaron Lewis like sound bite to him at that minute in time. Very fucking cool. The um, the solo was very unique. 
and very different and very much changed the vibe of what the song was very good because it shows that even though it's like a heavier song or whatever you do not need to have a shreddy solo for it to stand out it shows that 100 percent. sometimes you don't even need a solo for the song to stand out if the solo fits with the song you put it in um but yeah fantastic we're into the chorus now i don't know what the outro is going to be i'm guessing kind of what the intro was maybe a bit heavier uh, or a bit slower one of the two i'm looking forward to it but let's find out Okay, everybody, so that was my reaction to As I Lay Dime uh, Parallels. Um, as I said, I'd never heard this uh, band before. Um, as I said, I don't really know why I didn't check them out. I just, I don't know, I can't recall uh, 11 years ago or however long they started. But there was so much music coming out at the time, and probably something to do with the fact that I just glazed over them and didn't realise. Uh, but yeah, and going back obviously and listening to a song that was 11 years old, it definitely felt like it was from that era and I very much enjoyed that because it's very nostalgic. Recently I've been listening to a lot of uh, the old new metal songs I would used to listen to from different kinds of bands, not just like Slipknot and Korn, but like other bands that are kind of niche and a lot of people don't really know about. So it's kind of cool when you get a nostalgic kick uh, from a song and it's very unique and it's very rare for it to happen to me of uh, a lot um yeah i get nostalgic kicks from it but like it's a lot of the stuff that i get would get nostalgic kicks from i probably listen to a hundred times over so sometimes it's a bit lost and that's nothing against the song and the band it just means i've heard the song so much i fucking love it to death so it doesn't really throw me back as much because i still listen to it nowadays but there is songs when i listen to them like if i was to say pick up listen to an older trivium song from like the crusade or an album beforehand it maybe would give me more nostalgia feel than say a Slapknot song from Iowa like yeah that's nostalgic but I very much still listen to that album to this day um frequently um I still listen to Trivium nowadays but I tend to listen to the newer stuff and that's nothing against the older stuff it's just the new stuff is so fucking good and like we Iowa we Slapknot is one of the best albums ever and I do enjoy listening to it from time to time, so yeah. Sorry for getting on the uh, sort of spiel about uh, nostalgia and albums. Let's get back to As I Lay Dying. Um, as I said, I never checked them out before, and from this first uh, listen to this song, definitely getting that feel of the song being 11 years old, and that's not a bad thing. It's a very good thing, um, and it very much fits with that time. The intro was very, very cool. The guitars are standout in this song to me. Um, the vocals are awesome, but the guitars just take it to a different fucking level. The vocals are very unique as well. Um, probably not as much nowadays, but like back when this came out, yeah, they would have been so unique and different because he was going from like a, a scream to like a sort of growl and singing, and then he went to cleans eventually. And he can, he's amazing at all, uh, all three. What I did say, and I will stick with, is it's got a very trivium rhythm to it. Just the way it was like, uh, ebb and flow, it would change from chorus to pre-chorus to verse. The way it would go from heavy to slow to melodic. It definitely has more of a trivium-like rhythm running through the entire song. Whereas it has a very kill switch engage kind of uh, execution. Just the way the vocals would come out and the guitars would come out and the drums would be and the music in, in general would be very very cool very cool combination never thought of that before but they definitely nail that idea i don't know if that's probably not what we're going for but from what i can hear from just one listen i can pick out different um um i can 
I can pick out diff different styles that they be definitely idolized to make their music, um, 100%. Uh, but I will say as well, the start of the bridge before the solo definitely had a very stained feel to it. As I said, one of my favorite bands of all time. So that was very cool and very different. And I loved the solo. The solo stood out uh, head and shoulders above a lot of solos at that time. Uh, because a lot of solos at that time were just shreddy for shreddy's sake. It shows that you don't actually need them. Um, and it works very well. The song is an easy listen. It will be gone on the playlist, so I can listen to it. I say probably, I'm guessing a lot of their songs will be easy listens. I will be checking out more of them. I do have another reaction to do, but I don't know if I'm going to do any more reactions after that. I'm only doing the two that was recommended to me, because um, I've said before that I don't want to really react to big bands. And as far as I'm aware, I believe they're a big band now, so I'll get these two done for Solanka. I appreciate the comment and the recommendation to let me know about them. Sal, I appreciate you commenting and letting me know. Um, I appreciate the music itself. I love the music itself, so thank you. But yeah, I will only do the next reaction and then to probably check them out for my check them out for myself. But I hope you've enjoyed that reaction. That was as I lay die in parallels. Can you please like and subscribe and please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of it. What you thought of them when they come out. If you listen to them nowadays, how much of your opinions have changed or stayed the same or got even stronger? Um, because maybe that has happened. And let me know any more recommendations you can uh, give me down below in the comments. I very much appreciate it. Very much appreciate talking to you all about music. It's very fucking cool. It's very therapeutic and I enjoy it. But I thank you all for watching. If you want to know when the next reaction is going to be live, Please hit the notification bell and that will let you know exactly when I upload. I thank you all for watching and until next time, goodbye.